What's up everybody and welcome back to Sunday Tech Tips 2.0 and today I'm going to be sharing my first thoughts on using Linux Mint. So before I get started, uh, I'm going to share with you why I switched and what made me switch. So I had an old PC laying around and it wasn't that old when I stopped using it. At the time it was probably like, yeah, it was like three years old. But what happened, started happening was each program, even when it came to basic functionality like going to a browser, uh, it would take a very long time, first of all, to start up the PC, uh, get to the uh, Windows, opening up the Windows operating system. And then once it did open, just getting to a browser would take another two to three minutes. So it was, it was highly, highly unproductive. Uh, another thing it was is when I did get to a browser, even if when I did a basic search, just going to Google, uh, it would take me a long time just to load the page. And I knew it wasn't my internet. I knew it was either the PC or something was going on with the operating system. So I always talked to a lot of friends and family members and that used Linux or thinking about using Linux and I heard a lot of good things about it. So I said, all right, let me try it. So I got the iOS file, I flashed it, and then went ahead and put it on my over my window. So I wiped my windows out completely. Uh, you can partition your drive as well. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. But I was like, the window's useless. I'm never going to use it. So I kind of wiped it off the whole thing and just used this as now. This is my only operating system that I have. And my first thoughts on uh, downloading it, absolutely amazing. So one, one of the first thing I thought was, it's very similar to using Windows. Like the functionality is very easy. Getting from point A to point E is very quick. Uh, downloading apps, just for example, right now, this is live. So anything you want to download, you can search it. Or you could just tip, uh, just go ahead and uh, once you search it, you could just hit install and it'll just install the package. And uh, once I did do my first installation, um, which was a screen recorder and I downloaded a couple other programs that I use for my videos. and uh, I found it was very easy to find them and it was very easy to install them, you know, uh, and it was very quick. Obviously, based on your internet, it, depending on the file you're downloading, it could vary, you know, but like overall, very fast. Compared to my PC, it was going from uh, like a two cylinder vehicle to an eight cylinder, like a huge difference, right? So I did find that very helpful and um, I am going to be doing a series of tutorials on Linux, uh, how to do different things, going from you know switching your backgrounds to doing updates. And there's several different ways to do updates as well. You can do pseudo commands. Uh, you can also, it, it actually has like an update section itself, uh, which I'll show you in a second. So you can just, and it alerts you. So right now it's all updated. Uh, you can go in, there's many different commands. You can install packages, you can purge packages. Uh, you can do like auto clean on it, uh, so keep your system nice and clean, and it does everything very quickly. And obviously, it's, it's all cleaned up, so it's not going to show anything there. But overall, love the performance, love the uh, uh, user interface on it, um, the, the functionality going from point A to point B, very similar to Windows. Downloading application. Also very similar, obviously it's called the software manager rather than the app store or Windows store or whatever it may be. But it's very, very easy to do everything like that, right? Uh, and then I'll be doing a series of tutorials on it like I mentioned. And if you're new to the channel guys, make sure you subscribe, like the videos, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Alright, take it easy.